just me? Is this child so good I shouldn't have to laugh? <laughs> they make me laugh. He just be having me dying laughing, man. Because he's funny and he's very unique. Hey guys, good morning. Good morning. Today is October 19th. It is a Thursday. Um, car vlogs have been MIA for a while. I realize uh, recently I put up that fall thrift store haul on my channel, which is the first video in literally probably a month, but that's okay living life. Um, this morning my cousin made my day and Hannah, if you watch these videos, I think you literally made my year. Um, she basically just like posted on my Facebook wall saying that like my grind motivates her, which she doesn't realize that like literally all my family and friends grinds motivate me. I feel like I'm like constantly on, if that makes sense. Just like between school and work and working out and cooking and cleaning. Okay, hello. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Okay, hold on. Nope. Okay, let's try a few different techniques here. Yeah, there. Um, so yeah, that made my morning. Um, I just wanted to kind of update you guys on what's going on, where things are at. First of all, today I have a test. <laughs> in school and I am pretty nervous um so this class like I like the class like the content I feel like is like really good content especially for like what I'm doing at my internship and like what I want to do like after school but my teacher is really tough which is fine like I don't mind a tough grader but literally we have in class uh, in class quizzes off of the readings and you can literally use your notes and I've literally gotten like two out of tens six out of tens eight out of ten is the highest grade I got so I'm just like really nervous because like if I can't do well on the quizzes with open notes because it's literally that hard then like how am I gonna do good on the exam you know and there's only two exams in the whole semester so they're weighted really heavily so yeah, I got up early this morning and like studied for that, but there's, you know when like you study, but there's only so much you can do because you know like that like if you keep studying, you're not even going to retain it. That's kind of where I was at this morning. So I just stopped and then I um, prepped a uh, vegan chili for later. So like I dumped it all in the crock pot holder and then I put it in the fridge so anyway, I, okay, so I don't know if I like mentioned this, but like I kind of messed up my leg again somehow. This was like, I would say a month ago now. Okay, a little bumpy there. So I messed up my leg and it, it was like randomly hurting. So it made it really difficult to work out at all. Like even like Zumba where you're not really like doing a lot of strength training, it was still like pretty painful so I took like a week off of group fitness classes and on top of that go ahead on top of that um I went to Columbus to visit friends and it was also homecoming weekend at NIU my school so there was a lot of bad food there was a lot of drinking going on and on top of it all I couldn't even work out uh, I mean, like, I probably could have walked, and, like, that's fine, but, like, I'm talking, like, like, rigorous activity, I definitely, like, it was not gonna happen, um, so my leg, like, got better after, like, I'd say two full weeks, the second week I started, I only went to two classes instead of four, two group fitness classes instead of four, and I went to, like, the two more moderate classes, and not so much the the ones that are heavy on my knees, my knee, one knee, um, so, yeah, now I'm, like, back to normal, and I've been working out, but, um, I've been, do you guys ever do this thing where, like, when you're eating healthy, you have, like, your meals, like, you eat the same meals, like, over and over and over again, and then when you go to, like, try new meals, 
I feel like I plateau when that happens because your body's like, whoa, what are you eating? So I've been trying to make like new meals, like because I'm kind of getting sick of the stuff that I was eating. So I've been like plateaued basically. Well, okay, so I gained a little bit. I gained like three pounds back from three or four from Columbus and homecoming and everything like that. And then I re-lost it just like naturally once I started working out again. But now I'm like at that plateau. So I'm like 273.4.6 like just depending on the day. And I'm not, I think it's just because I'm like incorporating the new foods because like I'm still like working out heavily and like still doing everything right. Although yesterday I did have a lot of uh, finished chocolate at work, but like I'm saying that like nine times out of ten I've been really really good. So I think I'm just plateauing because um, I'm doing the same exercises and I'm like incorporating these weird foods that my body's like, okay, what's going on? Um, I'm planning to have my last nutrition appointment was going to be October 30th, but I'm going to email her and see if I can get it moved to the Friday before, which is like the 26th or 27th. Um, just because the Monday the 30th, there's a Halloween theme all week at group classes, group fitness classes, and Monday is Zumba day, and it's a uh, pitbull hour, like it's non-stop pitbull. So I really don't wanna have to miss it or like leave early to like rush to the nutrition class. And I would much rather, um, like just move my last appointment and then be able to go to pitbull class because like I feel like that's gonna be so much fun so yeah um I feel like there's something else I had to update you guys on but I don't remember so it's like literally the exactly the middle of the semester like this is week eight of 16 the end of week eight so um and like I just need to like refresh you know so there's a cosmetology school in DeKalb and they actually do a pretty decent job. I've gone there before for a gel manicure or shellac manicure and um, they did a really good job actually. Most of the nail places in this area are just like really really bad and they charge a ridiculous amount for being really really bad. So. I actually think the last time when I went, I thought that my shellac manicure was like literally better than some of the, um, most of the nail salons here in this area. So I'm getting a gel manicure, a gel pedicure, and a... I'm gonna get my hair just trimmed, and I'm not doing anything drastic. One, not that I don't trust them, but, like, if I'm going to do a major cut, I go to El Salon, which is, like, tried and true. Um, and I don't want to do a major cut. I literally just want, like, a trim because my hair has not been cut in a really long time. Probably since, like, March and it's end of October. So, I just want it trimmed um, and to be looking fresh. And I'm doing this just because, like, I feel like I need it. My feet are all fucked up from working out. Um, yeah, I just, like, I really just need it. And on top of that, on, t on Tuesday, today's Thursday, on Tuesday at work we have an open house. Um, just to, like, we're inviting, like, our partners and, like, people within the community, like the mayor and um, all of our US coworkers are gonna be there. Our CEO in Finland is gonna be here. So like, I just want my nails to look good. Like I just wanna feel like refreshed, you know? And it's the middle of the semester, so I feel like it's just like the perfect time to just like re-motivate myself to stay motivated for another eight weeks. So yeah, but I think I'm just gonna leave this video here. Um, I literally forgot to bring food today for school. My nutritionist would probably kill me if she heard that. But I do have nuts in my backpack. Like I just keep like a big 
bag of them and I'll just like eat them accordingly. I also have my um, Brita water bottle that like filters the school's nasty ass water. And then there is a like small cafe in my, um, in the business building. Okay, literally I can't. <laughs> um, there's a small cafe in the business building. We're done. There is a small cafe in the business building and um, there's like three total vegetarian options. So option number one is nachos, which I'm just gonna avoid altogether. I don't eat, I've never had their nachos, so like I'd say I'm doing pretty good. Um, the second option is those Smucker's Uncrustable things. I've had those a few times, like just throughout the years here, but I mean, obviously super high in sugar, not sugar free. Um, lots of added sugar, so I'm also going to avoid those. And if I am really hungry and the nuts in the water do not suffice, then there are, um, it's just called mixed veggies with dip. So it's literally like celery, carrots, tomato, broccoli, cauliflower, um, and then like a ranch dressing. <laughs> so, okay, what the fuck? are you doing car I swear to God these kids who go to my school have no idea how to drive no idea no idea how to drive no idea how to park like yeah it's really frustrating okay guys I know I said I was done this morning but literally I just paid $38 for a shellac manicure okay a shellac pedicure and a haircut <laughs> $38 plus tip I gave the girl um like five dollars per I obviously tipped her on top of that but literally so I go to I tried it once before for the, my nails and then today I decided to try the pedicure and try the haircut because I was like what's the worst that can happen so literally it was, it's already cheap because it's a beauty school, but then on top of it, it was 25% off with my school ID. So, that is great. My hair feels so good. Like, I can't stop looking at it in the camera or touching it. It's literally so nice. And my nails, she did literally such a good job. I don't know if you guys can see, but, like, that's literally better than most of the salons in DeKalb. So, <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave this video here, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to y'all next time.